All right, guys, a notable matchup on national TV tonight. The Clippers are playing the Nets. The Clippers own the league's best record as they face off against the Nets on the road. So, Fizz, if you were just saying those teams, if those teams ended up in the finals against each other, who would you pick for the title? That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the teams that are that playing tonight, Fizz. Tough, this is what I got. <laughs> I mean, that's how you gonna hit me, huh? Yep. Well, right now, today, today, I'm picking the Clippers. If you're gonna put pressure on me like that, just because they've been together longer and they really defend. They take pride in their defense. They're more connected right now defensively. Uh, but obviously, for these two teams to make it, health will be a huge issue for both teams. All Both teams have to get through this season healthy. Uh, but I gotta go with the Clippers just because they really play both ends of the floor right now. Yeah, I got to go with the Clippers, too. I mean, when you look at the Clippers, they have the only two wingmen that can possibly match up well versus the Nets. I mean, Kawhi Leonard is a great defender, Paul George, too. And if you want two guys in the NBA on the same team, guarding Kevin Durant and James Harden, those are the two guys that you want on them. And I don't see no other team in the league with that combination of defenders that can match up with these guys all night. And so I have to go with the Clippers. I'm fascinated to see this matchup. I think it's going to be fantastic and really a test for Steve Nash's group of when their attention is, is served and when they know they have to lock down, can they do it? These guys have shown that they can play team defense, even if none of them are sort of lights out defenders on their own. And, and they got to do it, though. As Steve has said, they haven't been doing it yet. And they'll freely admit that. Kyrie said every guy was going past him the other night. So I hope that they can find their focus and give us a really good basketball game. The matchup looks incredible. Time for our League Pass game of the night, gentlemen. Six games on the slate, including two on TNT. So our producers are banned, banned, I tell you, from choosing any national TV games. They had to go with Blazers Wizards, which, hey, that's tonight at 8 Eastern, and both Dame Willard and Russell Westbrook coming off hitting those insane game winners. And they have a history going back and forth, too, Paul. You know that. So what do you expect from this matchup tonight? Oh, man, is there a better matchup between what? Then Russell, Russell Westbrook and Dame Lillard, you know, two competitive <laughs> oh. guys. Dame Lillard has put Russell Westbrook out the playoffs, and you mm -hmm. know how competitive Westbrook is. And mm -hmm. he's coming off his best game of the season and right in time because Dame Lillard, he's going to be up in his game, and so will Russell Westbrook. I love these two guards, two of my favorite in the league. I love it the same way, as, but you got two unique uniquely different guards, right? You got Lillard, who's a bomber. You got Westbrook, who's just a downhill attacker. They already got history of chirping and going at mm -hmm. each other. Uh, there's been some heartbreak <laughs> in that uh, competitiveness. And so I can't wait to watch this one. I love seeing those two guys go head to head. They are going to put on a show for us. Paul, it's so interesting watching Russ. Now, he took that time off injury-wise to just sort of rest and rejuvenate to a little extra bit to make sure that he came back healthy. But he's clearly figuring out how to play now. Paul, what would you advise Russ as he's aging in the game here of what he needs to do to continue to adjust? Well, Russ has to continue to just... I think this is the thing. Sometimes Russ doesn't understand, you know, stop and go. And what I mean by that, you know, he plays at one speed. <laughs> yes. And as he gets older, you know, as that athleticism starts to decline, he has to figure out different ways that he can be effective. We already know what he can do, rebounding the ball and passing. But as he gets older and he's not as explosive to the basket, just finding that medium. And what I saw in those highlights, he went back to the medium range, something I thought he abandoned hmm. for a couple years. And I think that was an important part of his offensive game. Instead of settling for so many threes, play to your strengths. And I think he could be a big guard you could put in the post and make plays from there also. What do you think, Fizz? I think you hit it on the head. Both of those areas are sweet spots. I think him being back with his old coach who really knows how to use them uh, is going to put him in the right positions. And, and hopefully he can stay healthy so we can see that what Russell Westbrook that we're used to. Well, hopefully tonight's a barn burner. NBA just announcing LaMelo Ball and Tyrese Halliburton as the NBA Rookies of the Month. So congrats to them. And thank you to Coach and Paul for joining me today. We'll be back tomorrow with the jump. See ya. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.